Hi there, it's Holly here from Your Past is a Gift. So, in this video I wanted to talk about, you know, recently, my daughter was asking me, Mum, why do you keep making these videos? You know? And even my husband sometimes rags on me like, why are you still making those videos? Or why do you make those videos? Or why are you wasting your time? And you know, they're going on about all this stuff. And, you know, I feel happy doing them. You know, I, I keep thinking about the generations that are coming, like my daughter's generation. And I feel that as the years, you know, and the decades are passing by, we're becoming more and more disconnected from each other and technology is not helping you know people being on Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff all the time is disconnecting us even more because instead of us looking at each other to communicate now we're constantly looking at a screen I see them you know one day I was on the train and there were these four girls that hopped on from a high school and in the old days if it was me and my friends from high school you could hear the chatter from you know the whole carriage of the train <laughs> yeah, 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 you know all these from four teenagers and we were pretty loud and I remember the days when teenagers were loud but there wasn't a peep out of any of the four of them they were all staring at their screen reading or looking at God knows what and they all hopped on together and they all sat together so it wasn't like they didn't know each other well they would have sat in separate spots I imagine you know not together as a group but not one word was spoken amongst them in 20 minutes before I got off you know and to me, there's always this hope that one day, you know, these videos will reach the people that really need them. You know, the people that are ready to wake up and to stop living the way we're living. You know, we don't need these houses where everyone gets their own bedroom and everyone is separate from everyone else. What's wrong with sharing a room? You know, my sister and I had to share a room for quite a long time. You learn to share. That's what life is. We're sharing our world with each other. But somehow we've got it into our head and I think it's because parents find it easier. If each child has their own room, there's less fighting. I'm thinking that's the thinking that's involved. I don't know because I have an only child, but even if I had another, I was thinking of putting them together. I wasn't thinking of giving them separate rooms for any reason because as long as they're both girls or they're both boys, you know, because they'll get to teenagers and of course they'll want, if they're opposite sex, they'll want their own privacy for obvious reasons. But if they're the same, both boys or they're both girls, what's wrong with sharing? When did it become wrong to share a house with each other, a room with each other, a closet with each other? You know, husbands and wives, they share closets all the time. Wardrobes. This part's your wardrobe. This part's my wardrobe. Here's my shoes. Here's your shoes. Here's the towels. Here's... We share. You don't need to each have your own separate, you know. I don't know when that all happened. When we all decided. It makes us all more separate, more disconnected. This not learning to live together and share what we've got with each other. And that makes for parents having to work more, work harder, they need bigger houses. You know? When it's not necessary, it's creating the actual opposite of what we need inside, which is to be together. Not more apart, more separate, more space between us. We don't need more space between us. We don't. I think we've got enough space as it is. We've already gotten as separate and as disconnected as we can possibly get. That, you know, we need to start waking up. That that's not what we need. We don't need to be separate. We don't need to be disconnected from one another. We actually need each other. We need to connect. We need to feel connected to the world around us. So, you know, today I want you to start thinking about that. Start thinking about the world that you want to create, the world that you want to live in. Because everywhere I go, someone looks at me, I always smile at them. I acknowledge them. I recognize that they're there. If I can say hello, because they're not, even if they're across the street, I usually say hello. How you going? <laughs> you know, um, I will. It's just a recognition that they're not invisible. 
It's not about me. They're not invisible. And, you know, I make an effort to say hello, to smile, to... And if it's a child, even more so, because so many children now are not getting that time, that one-on-one -on -one with their parents like we used to when we were kids. We always at least had mum home or someone to take care of us. You know? We don't have that anymore. All the kids go to daycare now. Both parents are out working to make these huge houses with all these bedrooms. No one's there anymore. But there will come a time, you know, where there will be generations that will start to think we're too disconnected. We're too separate from each other. And they'll start to realize that that's not where joy resides. You know, that that's not what we're here for. I can't for the life of me, if I have a child in front of me smiling at me or looking at me, I can't not look back and recognize and acknowledge that child. It doesn't matter what their age is, even if they're teenagers and they're looking at me and they wanna say something to me, they wanna to talk to me, whatever it is, I always make the time, always. Because I think, what if I'm the only person that day that Stop to talk to them, to actually talk to them, to have a conversation. How's your day? How's your week? How are you feeling? How are you? How's school? You know, these are all the questions for my kids, my students. How are you? How's school? How are you feeling? You're all right? You're managing? You know, and I, at one stage I had this boy that was freaking out about the HSC. And I said to him, look, you have your whole life ahead of you. If you don't get in now, there are ways that you can sit for tests, prepare for these tests that you can get into when you're older. It's not the end of the world, it's not the end of your life. Or there are other subjects that you can go into and then they slide into whatever, you know, career he actually wanted to go into. But sometimes they get in the head that this is the be all and end all and the world will end because there's no one outside telling them that it's going to be okay. That's all right. If, you know, that's what you want with all your heart, you'll get there. You'll find the way. Life will make a way for you to get there. Opportunities will always show up if that's what you want with all your heart. So, you know, I want you to really start to, I'm hoping there's generations out there that will start to wake up and start to talk to each other, not through the screens, but actually Look at each other and talk to each other and start interacting the way we were meant to as human beings. There's nothing like looking into someone else's eyes when you're talking to them. It's not the same as seeing them on a screen or, you know, it's not the same. Right, my darlings? I do it because I love it. It makes me feel good that one day this will help. Hopefully many, many kids especially, you know, that get lost along the way. Give them hope that they're not alone, that there are others out there feeling exactly the same way. And all they need to do is connect. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.